So I've got um, quite a bit of knowledge on spines and discs. I've had a discectomy back in 2012. This part's really relevant to me, Lee. Can you explain what it is to start with the audience? Sure, well, this, this is um, it's a spinal cage. So this effectively fits inside your spine to replace a disc. Um, the material, what is it? It, it? It's a material called peak. So, um, you know, it looks like a piece of plastic, but peak is a, it's a material widely used in the medtech industry. The body doesn't tend to reject it. Okay, now this is made on the, the Boomatech 191 machine, uh, the Neo machine that we have behind us. What are the challenges with, a, with machining a part like this? The component comes from bar. So we're, we're feeding bar through the main spindle. We machine side one complete, and then the sub spindle will pick up, part the bar off and, and finish the, the part in, in one go. So it's a fully automated process. Um, they come in various different shapes and sizes. And there's one, one key point that we haven't spoken about yet, which is the fact that peak can't actually be detected on an X-ray. So there's something else you machine into these, isn't there, in order to solve that problem? Well, that, that's right. To overcome that, what they, uh, what these products have is, is two pins fitted, so that on an X-ray, those pins can be seen and, 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 and the, the surgeons can see the orientation, etc. Um, now, we, we can actually fit these on the machine as well as part of the machining process. You can see that in the movie. Okay, so if you so those pins have no other relevance other than to, to help with that x-ray no, that's right, that's right. Okay, and then the, the, the prime objective with a part like this must be to get the surface finish or no burrs and things like that on it because it's going in the body. Is that part of your machining process? It, it is for sure, because this, this material does burr. So we do have a brush system to take the burrs off. We use... Um, we use pressurised chilled coolant and we can also use um, CO2 cryogenic type coolant as well, in which case the burrs almost snap off and they're easier to remove. But these come off as a you know, finished component straight off the machine.